And I'm back again. So second YouTube of the Spare Room series coming up. This is a push session. Uh, I'll keep this intro fairly short because you'll see everything and I'll do my normal commentary. I think last time I probably did my intro and then I kind of just repeated myself through the video. So I'm gonna do commentary over um, the videos again, just to kind of explain what I'm doing, uh, why I'm doing it. The other thing is um, I'm still trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing on here um, in terms of how to set videos up. So the, um, the clips themselves, some are sped up, some are normal pace. Um, well, actually, they're all a sort of combination of the two. Because if it were me, I think it'd be a bit boring just to watch me do kind of 20 reps on one exercise. Um, because I do it all quite slow, all quite controlled. Um, so just to kind of keep the, the, the kind of the flow going, I've sped certain bits up. Uh, I hope it works out all right. Let me know in the comments. I don't know. Um, it made sense in my head, so we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I will be doing my commentary, and I hope you guys all can enjoy it and uh, maybe learn something about what I'm doing with this home training. So here we go. My commentary, as per the last session, nobody said they hated it, so we're going to do it again. Um, again, you'll see a lot of my, uh, my sessions follow a very similar format with some form of isolation movement to begin with um, to really get blood flow, get connection, get the muscle or the pec in this case in its shortest possible position. You'll also hopefully notice during this clip that it's sped up throughout um, and that's just because I don't want you guys to kind of get bored and to watch the same uh, kind of boring reps. You'll see they're at good pace all the way through. So I hope that made sense to everybody. So from a single arm pec fly, get the isolation going, we move on to my main kind of heavy movement, uh, which is a press up, which I never thought I would say doing a, doing a chest session. However, um, you know, 310 pounds with a pretty heavy band around your shoulders, um, does the damage. I will tell you that. Obviously, I've been doing this throughout lockdown. We're in kind of week 10, week 11 now. Um, I am getting better at them. I'm getting more reps. Um, at the moment, the format I kind of follow of these is I just do one warm-up set with body weight and then three sets with the band to failure. Um, kind of here, I think I failed around 15, 16 reps, maybe a bit more. Um, and then I kind of drop a few reps each time. As you see, I'm not getting up. That's a good set. <laughs> And this felt amazing. So I've not done a, uh, a barbell press for the whole of lockdown. I've not had the, the weight nor the, the equipment regarding the bench. So thank you to Mace Muscles for sorting me out here. Uh, absolute lifesaver. And I can't tell you how good this felt. Not particularly strong, definitely felt that. However, after the press ups, I'm not necessarily kind of expecting miracles, but it was really nice because it meant I could take this 100 kilo bench um, to a nice set of failure. Um, obviously kind of pretty well executed reps. Uh, really hit the spot, felt amazing and so looking forward to just progressing um, and being able to push on through here. Just got that one up, <laughs> don't want to fail on your own. And here's another movement I'm extremely excited for. Um, these are both new movements, so I got a bit carried away just kind of putting everything into this session. Um, I've got the dumbbells from Mace Muscles. Now these are only 30 kilos. At this point in the session though, with nice controlled reps, I was getting a nice stretch at the bottom. Um, sets of 15, really felt it. And again, I think for anyone who loves to train, just having the ability to perform certain movements feels so, so good. So extremely grateful, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this. And uh, again, something I'm looking forward to kind of progressing, looking at potentially adding a band to this movement. I'll see if, how that goes and, uh, and try that in the future. So to finish the chest portion of the session off, I did this superset, which is the low to high banded fly as you see. And then I go into a seated banded press. Um, as you've just seen as well, again, I'm speeding up certain parts of it. So you guys can see the execution and the control and the rep speed on the first few reps. And then we just get through the set because they are 20 rep sets, I think. Um, although my counting might be awful. So then I go on to the seated banded press. Um, again, just a really nice movement in terms of what I can kind of do with the, with the 
him with, with the equipment I've got. Great way to finish the chest off. Um, good, um, good contractions here and on the on the high to low fly again. A nice contraction. It's a really good double up, um, and something I've been doing throughout lockdown. Um, so yeah, nice finish with you. So coming on to the shoulder portion of the session, um, now I have always favoured higher volume work for shoulders. Um, you know, isolation work, a lot of blood flow, uh, a lot of focus on contraction and, and quite a lot of volume. So the whole of the shoulder portion is either supersets or tricets. Uh, starting off with rear delts, we've got band pull aparts here, really focusing on that squeeze, getting the delt into the shortest position we can um, with, with that band. And then gonna move on and do a bench supported um, kind of dumbbell high row. It looks potentially back, um, like I'm pulling with my back. However, the focus here is to drive the elbows out, get a stretch at the bottom, and work that rear delt through sort of the lengthened and mid range. Um, after the band pull aparts, when I've already got that connection mentally and the blood flow in there, it's a real tough movement. And you see here, I'll really fail on this um, and take it to the end, which is a nice thing to do. So like I said, volume is the aim of the game. So we're doing two rest pause sets here. First one is gonna be the seated dumbbell lateral raise. Now I'm gonna show this throughout its entire, the entire set. I am speeding up from this point. So rest pause for me, that means a set to failure. Obviously these are only 5K dumbbells. Execution stays as tight as I can, push through to failure. Rest, 10 deep breaths, go again. Rest, 10 deep breaths, go again. So again, it's just a way of getting a really intense block of work in a fairly short period of time. Given that I haven't got, you know, a huge variety of exercises at my disposal, it's a fantastic way to, to kind of utilize that. Um, I also then after this go on to a standing dumbbell lateral raise. Again, I'll do a rest pause set there. Um, the dumbbells are heavier and the, uh, the reps are less. Um, on that, you'll see I'm not going to show the full set, just the beginning and the end of it. So like I said, I'm doing the exact same um, rest pause format here with the dumbbells uh, standing. However, um, I'm not gonna show you guys the whole set here. I'm gonna show you the first set. We're gonna speed it up from here. And then I'm gonna show you the tail end of the second set. So again, you know, a short block of work, an intense block of work, getting some heavier load through the delts. I like to do these after the seated ones simply because I feel more warmed up. Um, I have quite creaky shoulders, I'm getting old. So I don't like to kind of go heavy off the bat. Um, so that first rest pause with the seated 5K lateral raises is almost a warm up. And we hear, see here the last few reps of that set, um, of this rest pause set, really taking it to failure. Um, nothing left at the end of this. And to finish off the delts, surprise, surprise, more volume. This time a tricep. So I am utilizing the bands. I'm gonna do this cuffed banded lateral raise. Again, sped up so you don't get bored. From here, I'm then gonna do a partial lateral raise, again with the band, and then from there, I'm using my nice dumbbells to do a shoulder press um, where I can take it to failure. Obviously, I'm very fatigued at that point, so I think I got kind of 12 or so reps on the, on the dumbbell press. Um, but again, surprise, surprise, it's, uh, it's volume and, um, and it's isolation work. I'm a big believer on really hammering the, the kind of side delts, particularly from a bodybuilding point of view. You know, they give that nice cap, they give that width from the front um, and, and two things that are really, really important to me from a visual aspect. So kind of no stone left unturned, so to speak, all the volume in there, putting that work in, here comes the shoulder press and uh, yep, pushing it to failure. Ugh. <sighs> 
coming towards the end of the session now with a couple of tricep movements. First off, um, dips, as you can see, nice basic movement. I've got these parallel bars and I'm making the most of them. I hit dips on my chest day and on my arm day. Um, and you know, like I said, 310 pounds is a lot of weight. So a couple of sets to failure here at this point of the session, hits the spot, gets some load through the triceps, still again, polishing off a little bit of chest and delts combined. So again, a nice movement for me um, and something I can kind of fail on, which I really like because it allows me to kind of progress and, uh, and have numbers to beat week on week. And finally, a banded tricep extension. So I'm following a rest, for, rest pause format again here. Um, again, I'm just going to show you kind of parts of the set. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore at this point. <laughs> um, but yeah, pushing the, uh, the reps through here, getting as much blood in the muscle, contracting the triceps hard, and uh, again, using the rest pause to make sure that I get a nice, intense block of work done in a short time period. So uh, yeah, that's the, uh, the push session in the spare room series ticked off. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll do a little outro and, uh, and see you again soon, I hope. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. That is the push session done. Um, obviously, you'll see, well, you may or may not see, quite a lot of volume. Um, first off, I've always been uh, someone who could tolerate quite a lot of volume. That whole session there, it was done in an hour and 40 minutes. So although there's a lot going on, um, I don't really take too much rest. Obviously at the moment, heavy weights are very limited for me. So I use other factors. Um, I said that in the last video, volume being one of those. Um, I've always favored volume for my push sessions, especially when it comes to um, delts and shoulders, really kind of drive the, the blood in there. So yeah. I hope it was uh, it was worthwhile to watch. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave any comments about what I could do better, what I could do in future videos. Obviously, I intend to kind of keep doing these uh, spare room videos with, um, I've still got legs and I've still got arms to kind of show you guys. Plus, my pull session kind of constantly evolves slightly, so I'll probably do another one of those, depending on how long we're in this, uh, in this position for. But as ever, kind of feedback, support, subscriptions, likes, comments, all massively appreciated. So thank you very much. I hope you have a great day and uh, I will be back on here soon because I'm on a good run. This is my fourth one of this, uh, fourth video of this, of this attempt at YouTube. So yeah, thank you very much as ever guys and I'll uh, speak to you soon.